So Teresa, I think you might be the longest um, member on this committee. I, I, I am, knew. I've Josh been here knew. forever. Um, so I have I have to hold this meeting because we, and Josh, one of the responsibilities is signing nomination papers and initiative petitions. Okay. And with that, there there is timelines for which these papers need to be signed by, and. Um, there can be a lot of them. There can range anywhere from a few to hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. um, so in the past, you if you and we can continue to do it this way too. You, uh, Teresa would come in and with a red pen and sign all the nominations and initiative petitions. Okay. Um, we do have the option to use signature stamps, which is kind of why I'm holding the meeting. Is that I would need you guys to vote to authorize me to use a signature stamp on the papers. Um, so when I'm, and I'd have one, I'd either sign my name and then use the signature stamps of you, you guys below and, mm -hmm. and handle the nomination papers and initiative petitions that way. So it's up, if, if you feel comfortable doing that, we can do it that way. If not, I can hold a meeting or if you guys can come in individually, come in and sign them and we can do it that way. Okay. So these are just nominations for various town offices. Yep, Select there's name, that. constable, um, things of that nature. Yep. And then there's um, initiative petitions for state elections um, that, you know, to go on the ballot. So you, I would be certifying that whoever signed those petitions and nomination papers are registered voters in town. Okay. And then, so that's the significance of the signatures. All right. If we went with the stamp system and yep. for some reason there was ever a question, we could go in and examine the actual documents in person if we needed to, correct? Yes. And um, one of the reasons why we have this meeting tonight is because if we're going to in that direction, it's good for me to have it that we voted on it. I have it in permanent record that this was a decision. Um, and so that if you know, that's the main reason. Okay. I have no objections to the stamp just so long as should we need to, we can actually review the documents in person and go from there. Let me just hold on. Let me ask Lynn a quick question. How long nomination papers? How are they permanent records? So if there was ever a question, okay. So they're not permanent record, but every mm -hmm. election has a different time period. Okay. So they will end up getting destroyed at some point. Do you but know what I, the grace time is or the grace period? Sure. So town elections is 30 days. Okay. 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 So we don't keep the state election ones. They get sent to the secretary of state. Um, so when it comes to accessing them after the fact, I don't know how easy if we could. Okay. Okay, so they are public record, but at that, if we did need to get access to them, I would need to request them from the state. Okay, so I guess my only, other, my only other question, I'm not trying to be difficult. Um, no? Has there ever been an issue in the past where someone has contested the, the forms that have been submitted, the nomination forms? Not in Lynn's time period, she said. Okay. Um, but Lynn has also didn't use stamps. Lynn had um, the Board of Registrars come in and physically sign papers. Um, okay. But I'm not, but who's to say that? She's right here too. <laughs> hey, Lynn. I had people come in and sign. I kept thinking about doing a stamp and then I just never got around to it. So. Okay. Um, but generally, um, what happens if somebody, anyone, can request from the town prior mm -hmm. to the time that they go on the ba the ballots get destroyed and everything after the election we keep them. So if someone from the town is questioning someone's status as a registered voter or something on the paper, we would have those until after the election. Okay. And the state, um, what happens is they bring them here. We certify that the person is a registered voter and then they get sent back to the candidate. The candidate okay. in turn re, uh, returns them to the secretary's office. The candidate, they can look at, the candidate staff can look at the signatures, which they get back to the signature form and 
for some reason, um, they can ask for a review. I, I can't, there's a word for it. I can't okay. think of it off the top of my head. But the thing is, they can ask for a review of the signature gotcha. and ask us for more detail on why we rejected it. Okay. Um, generally, rejections are for the state ones are because they sign a Democratic paper when they're a Republican or they um, signed a, a paper more than once. Gotcha. You know, they might have signed for the same candidate three times or something. They can only sign once. We record it in our system. The other two get, you know, a, a notation next to them that says they've already signed this paper. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lynn. And they're very thorough about doing those checks. Okay. I can tell so, you that. Um, well, Teresa, if you're good with it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make waves. If you've gone through this process before, so if you haven't seen any issues, and I surely don't think Amy's gonna lead me astray, um, I'm good with going with the stamp system. And we always I'm sure we always have the re, um, ability if we think something happened to go back and ask for a meeting and say, we want to go back to written signatures. I okay. mean, written signatures on those. Yep. But for Amy's time, for the amount of time they spend going through all those uh, papers, and then they have to call us, and then they've got to have it aside for them to come in. I think this is simpler for her. Agreed. And it's, she's got a lot better use of her time. I couldn't agree more. So on that note, I'm going to make a motion that we go to stamp signatures. I will second the motion. Perfect. All right, great. Um, so we'll do that. So if at, at some point, can you each stop in and I'm going to have you sign probably a piece of paper three times so I can bring it to Staples or something and, and get luck. the stamp made. <laughs> So, um, if we could do that, and then do you guys have, so do you have any questions for me as to like responsibilities or, you know, maybe it would probably be beneficial if we did meet maybe twice a year or once a year, just to mm -hmm. go over things and see. Um, also on the town's website, um, there's a list of, um, offices for, you know, that you can take nomination papers out for. If you guys want to spread the word as to, you know, the positions we're looking for, I do have some nomination papers that are still, still sitting here. So there's going to be vacant positions if, you know, they don't get filled. Um, so you guys can put the word out for what the town's looking for. Okay. I or run yourself. <laughs> but then I you'd noticed have to come off. Sunderland had a problem with filling their positions too. Yeah. Even their select board position with mm -hmm. trying to get candidates so yeah yeah well that could be a position that's up for grabs this year so so just to confirm and i'm if we choose to run for an elected position we have to step away from this board correct right okay right. um but that's not don't ever let that deter you like i can mm -hmm. i will reach out to others to try to you know and i, I will have plenty of time to you know do so um but yeah, right. So, because you can't, what's it, what is it? You can't, they can't send you, or, with, right, right. Because of the election part of it that you guys are involved, would be yes. involved in it with kind of, right. Yep. But um, there are some positions open for grabs, so. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, Nate didn't come, but and he's not in the waiting room, so I didn't mess anything up. Um, but, Do we so have to vote, vote on it, Amy? We, we've, uh, I made a motion, we second it. Yep. Take a vote. Um, oh, you should probably do a roll call vote. Um, yes. Yep. Teresa, yes. Josh, yes. Okay. Two zero. Perfect. Done. Thank you, Teresa. That was, <laughs> yes, great. All right. Um, so I don't, so stop in when you can, or you can always stop at my house, whatever's easier, okay. <laughs> just to sign the paper. And then, um, yeah, that will be, that will be very beneficial. So. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. And it was nice meeting you, Josh. You're and I live on too. Christian Lane. So I, when I go by your house or by where you live, 
I'll stop by. Right. I'll <laughs> yeah. be there. So. What? Where do you live in? What house actually? So I live right next between Donnie Bates and the elementary school and the house that sits back. It's kind of greenish off okay. the road just to the north side of the elementary school. Okay. It's it's north and it sits back. And is it on the same side or the other side? The same side. So if you're headed north on Long Plain Road, you'll yeah. pass the elementary school in that row of pine trees. Oh, I know. Okay. It's a ranch house, right? Yep. Yep. That's correct. Okay. I know exactly where it All is. All right. <laughs> thank you. Have no a good evening. All right. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.